Hey rock stars, your guitar sage here. Today we're going to learn how to play Smile by Uncle Cracker. And um, we're gonna need a capo for this today, unless you wanna play a bunch of bar chords. Um, so, uh, first off, put your capo on the fourth fret. And the song is a fairly easy song. We're gonna try to cover it all in 10 minutes. I'm looking at my chart here on my screen, and I'll tell you what I'm seeing. Um, we'll talk about the chords, we'll talk about the rhythm, all that good stuff. So let me bust into it straight up for those of you that know um, what I'm doing here. For those of you that need more help, stick around, okay? It's gonna go something like this. So the, the basic part of this song is C, D minor, F, okay? Um, so in the intro it's just... to that beginning part again, that C, D minor, F, okay? Let's go straight to the bridge. For those of you that are getting lost, chill it, because I'm gonna get to you, okay? Here we go, bridge is gonna go something like this. Um, let's see, A minor, A minor, or A minor, yeah, A minor, A minor, A minor seven slash G for the second chord, D slash F sharp for the third chord, and D for the fourth chord. We'll do that twice, and then there's a whole measure of F and a whole measure of G. It goes like this. A minor, A minor 7 slash G, D slash F sharp, D. It's going to go like that twice. It's going to go... Um, back into the turnaround again, okay, which is the C, D minor, F. Okay, so, for those of you that can just get that from learning, you got it already, no, no issues. For those of you that need more help, here we go, right? Um, now, I'm looking at this chart here on my screen, and again, you can see the same chart that I'm looking at. These are the same charts that I handwrite for my students, and they really help you to learn these tunes because you're not having to recite or write down everything that I'm doing. Also, um, that you get that information with the ebook that I sell. It's $10, kids. That's like nothing, right? Um, blow that on lunch easily. Um, okay, so get the ebook. It'll help you with all these rhythms and chords and whole, whole enchilada. But go to yourguitarstage.com and you can learn more about it there. Okay, so um, okay, capo fourth fret. We know that. Here are the chords. So C for two beats, D minor for two beats. If you don't know that, uh, it looks like your D, except this note is down here. So in order to get that, we can't get that finger there. So we have to switch fingers like that. Don't play this low E, mute it. And in fact, on the C here, I mute that low E also. So we got one, two, three, four. Um, some people play their D minor like that. Some people being me, sometimes. So uh, C, D minor, F. Play your F like that. This, 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 this. 
get the point. There's a lot of Fs, right? So um, I play mine like this, and I mute that low E string. So C, D minor, F. Okay. Um, verse, same thing. C, D minor, F. Do that three times for the verse. For the first verse. Second verse, you do it one time. Yeah, I know. Weird, right? Pre-chorus is going to go G for two beats, F for two beats, D minor for two beats, F for two beats, G for two beats, F for two beats, D minor for four beats. So, D minor, F, G, F, D minor, chorus. Okay, so chorus is going to go C. Bridge, again, it's gonna go like this. A minor, A minor seven slash G. Here's an A minor, ready? Get ready, oh, there you go. Just lift your ring finger, that's A minor, seven. But you're gonna take that spare finger and bring it up here and hit that G right there. Right there, right there. Stick that finger right on that G. And it's an A minor seven slash G. It's an A minor seven chord. The slash G means there's a in the bass. Yeah, you got it. And then there's a D slash F sharp. So you know your old D, right? Get that guy out. Bring your thumb around here like that. Hit the F sharp. It's not really an F sharp because we have a capo for all you smarty pants theory people that go, well, that's not a D slash F sharp. Yeah. Yeah, we know that. Where have you been? Stick around, right? Stick around, you'll learn something. D slash F sharp. So thumb is playing that guy right there. And in fact, you can strike them all. Sounds so pretty. And then a D, straight up D. So again, you got A minor, A minor seven slash G, D slash F sharp, and then a D. And you do that whole rigmarole twice. And then you do a whole measure of F. You make me feel something like that, and then a whole measure of G. And then we're back to the intro again, or what we call a turnaround. A turnaround is that part of the song which introduces or reintroduces the intro. Okay, it's the turnaround, and it happens here before the chorus again. Um, chorus is the same as the one we just covered a couple times ago. Um, and the end is that C, D minor, F, C, D minor, F, and then it ends on a C. Okay, now, let's talk about the rhythm for a minute. The way I'm playing this is, now again, these are all interpreted, okay? So some of these songs, there's no guitar in it whatsoever, but we're interpreting what the drums are doing, the bass, and those sorts of things, okay? So it's all interpreted. So I play this like one and I'll say one and two and down. For those of you folks that describe this in up and downs, it would be down, 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 up. So one and two and three and four and four. If you want to practice it without the chords, do that. That's a good way to practice it. One, And what it sounds like with the song, I'll do it slow and then fast. So it's going to go or some variation of that. Basically a bunch of downstrokes and then at the end, you know, you might want to what we call dirty it up a little bit. So like just dirtying it up. Okay? All right, guys, that's it. Go to yourguitarstage.com, get the ebook. There's going to be more stuff coming out on that website too, so check it out. Um, yeah, that's it. Go practice. See ya.